Hi guys, so welcome to the fifth lesson of the Big 75 Bread and Butter Strategy. And in today's lesson, we're going to be talking about liquidity, all right? Liquidity is very important because liquidity is the main driver of the market, all right? Liquidity is everything. When you hear the word liquidity, what this literally means is that liquidity is money and, the, and money moves the market. The institutions move in the direction of liquidity all right every time you see price going up either in a bullish market structure is forming higher high higher low it's doing so because there's an underlying objective that the institutions would like to trade into and that underlying objective is actually called the liquidity they are trading into where the money is residing all right so there are two types of liquidity we are going to learn about all right um in this program we are going to learn about two types of liquidity the first is called an external range liquidity we have an external range liquidity the second is called an internal range internal range liquidity we have an external range liquidity and we have an internal range liquidity all right these are the two types of liquidity that exist as regards trading vic 75 and as regards this specific course i want you to just know about external range liquidity and the internal range liquidity all right so what is the external range liquidity the external range liquidity are seen above old highs all right old high or old highs number two they are seen at equal highs equal highs number three they are seen at relative equal highs all right relative equal highs this is where we see a typical example of the external range liquidity then internal range liquidity is seen sorry sorry um that's not where this is supposed to be then external range liquidity is also seen below all right let's do number one below is also seen at old low is also seen at old lows old low or old lows all right that is when we're in a bearish market condition we are going to see liquidity at residing at old low or old lows. Then we are going to see liquidity residing at equal lows or relative equal lows. Okay. All right. So that's where we are going to see external range liquidity residing. The external range liquidity is either residing above an old high or old high. All right. It's either residing above equal highs or relative equal highs. This type of liquidity is seen in a bullish market condition. When the market is bullish, the market will trade into an old high, equal high, or relative equal high. Then when the market is bearish, the market will trade into an old low or old lows. Then the market will trade into equal lows or relative equal lows in a bearish market structure. All right? Then we have the other kind of liquidity, which is internal range liquidity and internal range liquidity are either seen uh, in form of, um, uh, sorry, internal range liquidity is simply liquidity void, liquidity void, fair value gap, and other block. Liquidity void, fair value gap, and other block. Liquidity void fair value gap and what other block this is where we see internal range liquidity residing all right so if the market is bullish the market is going to trade into an old high 
all right look at this in a bullish market condition price has formed the high price has retraced all right price is about to start going up where is it going to trade into it's going to trade into the next level of liquidity which is what external external range liquidity means it is on the outside so what is on the outside in a bullish market structure price is going to trade into an old high you see that that's an example of of an old high All right this simply means that there's liquidity residing right there price will trade into that level then sometimes price would create equal highs right before trading into that level that equal high is also liquidity all right or sometimes would see price create relative equal ranges it's not exactly equal then price would trade into that level as well right here equal high relative equal highs or old high or old high right here price would trade into that level that's a buy side liquidity pool all of this is called a buy side liquidity pool all right when we are in a bearish market condition it's um, the opposite when we are in a bearish market condition we're going to see price trade into old lows so price has formed a low lower high then the next time price will trade low it's going to trade into the next level of liquidity which is that old low there so price will trade into that level then sometimes it's going to be relative equal lows that price is going to trade into you see that or exactly equal lows right there price will trade into that level okay that's how we see liquidity all right this is called external range liquidity either the buy side liquidity or the sell side liquidity all right we call them external range so let me show you a typical example of that so liquidity is the main driver of liquidity and again we identify liquidity pools first on the daily time frame secondly on the time frame we are refining structure which is the one hour all right i'm giving instructions for this now you do your liquidity on the daily time frame and on the one hour that's where you identify liquidity pool so let's go back to the daily time frame and identify the liquidity pool of the daily time frame because the higher time frames are the main drivers of liquidity that's where institutions are posing their position and expressing their interest right that's where the objective is the objective always lies on the bigger picture macro perspective the higher time frame okay so let let me show you what this looks like so in a bearish market structure where price or a bullish market structure where we see a clean bullish structure on the daily time frame you see that price after taking out this low right that's lower low then we now see that there is a shift of market structure bullish right here okay it tells us that we are bullish where did price actually trade into if you scroll or check clearly to the left you would see that price traded into liquidity you see that relative equal high or equal high here that's a buy side liquidity pool that is where price is heading towards where is the next liquidity as price is moving you are identifying the next level of liquidity that price is most likely going to trade into where's the next level of liquidity you can see here that old high and the previous old high here all of those levels are liquidity okay so price traded into liquidity relative equal high or equal high old high old high all right so this is called external range liquidity because it's on the outside so for every external range liquidity that is taken out or when price takes out an external range liquidity institutions the algorithm will want to reprice into internal range will want to retrace into internal range liquidity what is a typical example of internal range liquidity i had mentioned liquidity void liquidity void is a one-sided price action 
where price delivers only in one direction all right so it's one-sided price delivery you see that all this one-sided buy price action it's called liquidity void so institutions the algorithm will reprice to rebalance this liquidity void this inefficiency it's liquidity too okay external range has been delivered what's the next internal range once internal range is delivered what's the next external range so what is the next external range from this point here let me show you from internal we are going to external and from external we are coming back to internal external range liquidity where is the next external that we are trading towards relative equal highs here or equal highs they are actually equal that old high here and the old high here did you see how price traded into that level because that's where the liquidity is from this level where is the next level internal range one-sided price delivery institutions repriced into that level you see that after that where is the next drawn liquidity external range where's the next external range old high do you see that so that's how we trade structure and liquidity together structure and liquidity together as we are trading structure we are identifying the next level of liquidity in a bullish market structure or bearish market structure so at some point price created that expansion retraced into what internal range remember i told you that there are there are, there are almost three there are many different types of internal range liquidity i'm just going to teach you just the few all right in this free version of the training okay so price retraced into internal range liquidity and from internal range right here where is it heading towards external range was the external range old high here then after that what do we see we now see that we have a shift of market structure because the candle body has closed below the previous higher low here now we are what we are bearish so what happened here price traded below external range where is the next liquidity internal range you see that internal range liquidity void fair value gap other blocks there's how to use that price traded into that level so from that level where is the next drawn liquidity external range remember in a bearish market structure external range liquidity is old low relative equal lows and equal lows so this is an old low this is also relative equal lows price traded below that boom liquidity has been delivered you see that what happened again price delivered into internal range you see that internal range has been delivered where is the next draw on liquidity it's very clear to you now i'm sure equal lows this is the current liquidity okay this is the current liquidity except if we see price action close above this high before we can say we have a shift of market structure otherwise we are in the bearish market structure on big 75 currently all right price will trade into this level external range liquidity then there is another relative equal lows right there right here okay guys so as we are doing this we do this on the one on the on the daily time frame because that's what is driving us and we refine it into the one hour time frame okay as we are trading that our structure on the one hour time frame as price is trading into internal range we are identifying liquidity you see that you see that as we started to trade into internal range higher high i mean lower low lower high you can see relative equal lows old lows all of those levels are levels of liquidity so guys your homework is go to your chart identify liquidity buy side and sell side liquidity pool show me where your external range liquidity is the old high the equal highs the relative equal highs in a bullish market structure show me where the external range liquidity is in a bearish market structure old low relative equal lows and equal lows in a bearish market structure right guys until next lesson wish you good luck good trading stay